Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a LinkedIn profile. I am at the LinkedIn homepage, and um, a lot of times it's easier just to sign up via Google if you have a Gmail. If not, you could use your email phone number and create a password. I'm just going to hit continue as myself. Then it's going to, um, you know, ask me my location. It's going off of my IP address. I'm currently in Iowa, so I'm going to go next. You can update the location based on your preferences, not just where you are living. For a most recent job title, if you are currently a student, you can put a student or medical assistant, whatever you are currently um, doing for work. And you can fill out all the information um, depending on you know, where you're working at. If you are a student, you can put the college that you are at, let's say Unitech and you know, the years that you've been there. This, um, now you're diving into kind of the job search part of LinkedIn. You're actively looking for a job, which most likely if you're watching this video, you are. If you're just going to be casually looking, if you're already employed and just want to kind of keep your name out there, or if you just wanna go for networking because LinkedIn is a really great place to go to networking. Um, but most of you probably are actually looking for a new job. You would hit next. Uh, what location you would you like? Um, I am going to look up a postal code for LA because if I am looking for a job that's outside of my region, that's what I would look up, like where I'd be working. What job title you're interested in. And, you know, like this is up to you. I'm just putting medical assistant as a, um, just an example. Um, all these other ones, like, you know, it's it's what you're looking for. So do not copy me depending on what you are, you know, looking for for yourself. And, you know, sometimes if you're open for remote work, sometimes they do have like telehealth for different positions. It is good to keep your options open for the most part, though. Majority of your jobs will be in person or hybrid. And then I love this po possibility with LinkedIn. For a lot of the medical assistant caregiver roles, there's not going to be a lot on LinkedIn, but you're going to set up, you can set up job alerts for them to email you right when LinkedIn posts jobs that are medical assistant in the Los Angeles area, caregiver in the Los Angeles area. You can update it to be a wider you know range of different job titles this is just to show you how to set this up and this is also a really amazing feature because a lot of recruiters use linkedin to find talent and being able to have this on will be able for them to see on their screen that you are open for new jobs so you'd like to have this on and it doesn't show like your current employer that you have an open to new jobs. So this is something that, you know, keeps your, your privacy, but also keeps your um, door open to new opportunities. Getting the app, I, I would suggest it. It is nice to have it on your phone. Um, you know, just be aware, just to kind of give yourself a break if you're really diving into the job search, you know, just making sure that you only limit yourself for certain hours to not get super stressed, but it is nice to have it on the phone just because Sometimes if you're away from your computer and you get a message from a recruiter or somebody about a position, you have it right there. So now you have your LinkedIn completed or started. Um, this is when you would dive in and you know talk about yourself. So yes, you're currently a student. If not, that's fine. Um, you can add the skills for medical assistant, um, patient care, other skills that would communication, um, other skills that would align to it. And a lot of times you can find a lot of these skills when you look on job descriptions and be able to craft this from that. And then it's gonna confirm your location again. There you go. You can also add connections. You can connect your, um, your Facebook or your, your contacts from your emails to be able to connect. So here I wanna connect with my actual 
um, my actual um, LinkedIn. I'm going to hit connect. I can see my information here and be able to go from there. Here I could hit connect. I could send with a note or without a note and be able to build my build my networking. Here we can go to your profile. Right now there's really nothing on there. So this is where you can start adding to your profile. Uh, a lot of times making sure that you have a professional picture is very important because you don't want to just have something where a recruiter be thinking that you are not very professional. Um, but this is stuff that you want to fill out because it shows that you are active on here and being able to have that opportunity to connect with people. Here you can start talking about your little about me section. That's something that your career coach will be able to assist you with. Adding in your education, all of your other previous positions that you've had. And, you know, do not, you know, think that because you just worked at a Panda Express or, you know, retail or different places that you don't have the skills to be successful as you know, medical assistant, phlebotomist, whatever position you are in healthcare, you can find a lot of transferable skills and a lot of skills that employers are really looking for to be able to assist you. Um, you know, you can add those skills here. You have a career break. Let's face it. A lot of people did during COVID. That is something that you can add and people do not anymore. Like it's not as it's not a like a red flag previously before COVID. I think that a lot of recruiters bypass people with, um, you know, career breaks, but now it's just kind of normal. Uh, here you can add your licenses or certifications or courses, things that you've done, you know, with your degree. And here's some, like, you can add your volunteer work, different honors and awards, see just all this information to make you more marketable. Um, here is where you say you're open to work. You can always edit it and put in different job titles and talk about what you're really looking for. If you're really actively applying, if you're casually, if you're looking for full-time, part-time, um, if you wanted to do this all LinkedIn members, if you're really you know, diving in there and really making sure that people know, this little green banner that open to work really helps recruiters see that you're gung-ho about being able to find a job because you're, pla you're placing that out there for the whole world to see. Then you can also add, you know, your other positions here. You can write a summary. This is where your career coach can really help you out. And then as you kind of dive in, you will have, you can put posts and remark to posts that are talking about the industry that you're looking in. It's a lot of LinkedIn is a lot of that networking and being able to engage with other people. It is really great for that. A lot of the jobs that I know that people are looking for are not on LinkedIn, especially a medical assistant phlebotomist, but it is nice if you wanted to create a network and being able to support other uh, people in your industry. So that's just a quick uh, overview on how to create a LinkedIn profile. Please contact your career coach. They can review it for you, help you, um, you know, every step of the way. Just kind of wanted to give you a short video just in case you wanted to dive into this on your own time.